Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. And we're building on a video I re recently did where we were changing these, the Sonato D1 running Thinjingo, which this will work with any camera running Thinjingo that has a speaker, that instead of using Google Voice services, not Google Voice, but Google text-to-speech services, we set it up so that we can have our own service running on our own computer, and with changing one line of code on the camera, we're now doing things in-network rather than going out to the internet to get those voices. I used eSpeak. eSpeak is a great program. It's a small program, free open source, been around forever, very lightweight. Not the most natural sounding voice, though. It is completely synthesized. It doesn't use voice modules models and voice samples. Uh, so there's benefits and drawbacks to that, but it's definitely not natural sounding. Another common text to voice application is Festival, which I've played around with. I didn't think it sounded that great, but there's lots of voice models for it, and maybe I just wasn't using good voice models. Well, when I was talking in the Thinjingo chat room, someone recommended a program called Piper to me. So I looked into it, I installed it on my desktop. Again, this is something I'm gonna be running on a desktop or a server somewhere, and then the camera's just going to connect to that. Although my end goal is to get the voice on here, we're actually setting it up on a desktop machine, so this will work on any of your Linux systems. I'm just gonna go over a very basic install and how to set up, and then I'll show you the code that I changed to get it working on the camera here. If I press the button on the back of the camera here, here, it should say the IP address with a British accent. IP address is 192.168.1.30. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. The notes I'm about to show you are in the links of the video. Right up here, I show you the URL to the project, which if you went, they have great instructions on how to use it and set it up. I just have my shortened notes here. What we're going to do here is we're going to download a build for desktop Linux, a 64-bit processor. Then we're going to extract it and move into the directory. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going on um, my local computer here. I'm going to run that. It's going to download, extract it, and we're now in that directory. You can see the files here. And you can see the Piper program right there. It's pretty much ready to go, but we need some voice models. Uh, if we were, again, to go to the Piper project, page you can click on the link here that says download voices and they have a huge list of voices you'll find the language you want you can do English US you English British or a variety of other languages I again I wanted my camera to have a British accent when you download a model though make sure you download the model and the config file first time I did this I only download the model file and didn't download the config file which is a JSON file and it didn't work here's the voice that I'm using so I'm just going to copy and paste these two wget commands and it will download that voice model and then it's config file. And now I'm pretty much ready to go. Here's an example from the instructions on their website. So I'm just going to echo a sentence, but this can be any output into Piper. And then we're gonna give it the voice model we just downloaded, and we're gonna do raw output. And then if we wanna hear it, we pipe it into A play in this case. We'll give it some parameters, and then we'll just say dash uh, for standard out, and it should play it, or standard in, I should say. It played through my headphones. Let me, uh, and it also played at a funny rate. Let's go ahead, hit enter here. So it's kind of high pitched and a little fast. Let's go ahead, and what we can do is we can change this. So let's change this to 22. This sentence is spoken first. This sentence is synthesized while the first sentence is spoken. So depending on, I hope you could hear that playing out of my speakers there, that, that rate right here will affect the speed and tone of the voice. So that was it. That's all you have to do is to get it set up on your desktop computer. Now, let's get it set up on our server so that we can link our phone to it. So here we are. We have on the top screen here, I have the, I'm logged into my camera here. And let me just run this script so you can hear what the voice sounds like. Jarvis. The current date and time is the May 29, 9205 EDT 2025. So there we go. And again, this is the command. So up here, this is the camera I'm SSH into. We're using the tell command and then giving it some text. Down here is the server I'm running. I just started up BusyBox HTTPD. I gave it a port that I'm using. I'm just using a port that I'm not currently using for anything else. I already have a web server running on port 80. Uh, and then I'm saying the home directory is here, which is where I have the script. Let's look at the scripts. So I'll go, oh, no, that was where I want to be. So the script that I showed in the previous video was this. Very simple. It's just a shell script that runs when you connect through a web browser. The first line here is saying what type of file the script is going to output. 
Lots of times it will be a plain text HTML or just plain text. Here we're saying this is an audio file, it's a WAV file. So it's gonna dump kind of like you're downloading a WAV file stored on the server, but it's gonna generate it real time. Then we just need to echo a new line. This is the, how any script on the web server needs to start. These two lines, as I talked about in the previous video, is getting the variables passed through the URL. We're looking for the variable Q, and then this is just cleaning it up and uh, decoding it from the URL encoding that it does for spaces and special characters. And then this is, again, it, the old code. We're saying eSpeak standard out, and then we use socks to convert it to the proper wave format. So that's the code I showed in the previous video. Let's go ahead and show my updated for using Piper. And again, this will be links in the description of this video to my GitLab page where I have all these notes. So it's basically the same, but there were the, the, the socks command got a little bit longer. So first I just set some variables so that this line down here wasn't too long. Uh, but we're saying a variable for where we store the voice model, just depends on where you put it. I put it into USR, system, uh, USR share Piper and then I put it there. Uh, I set the rate here so you can change that because you may need to change it depending on different things. And then we have the socks command here, which also uses that rate variable. So you can see the socks command got a little long uh, and I just kind of played around with settings until I got it right. And so now, again, we're saying this is a WAV file. We're getting the variable and cleaning up, but then this is the, the meat and potatoes here. We're, again, echoing the phrase that's passed when the camera does its URL request. We're passing it into Piper. We're passing it the model, which we set as a variable up here. We're saying raw output, and then we're running a SOX command. It's the SOX command. So again, if I go back to the camera here, I can say whatever I want. I can say, welcome films by Chris. Ah, Chris is awesome. Exclamation mark. Welcome films by Chris is awesome. <laughs> and also I will show in another video, but you can reprogram this button to do different things. Again, if I just do a quick little click on it, it will get the IP address. IP address is 192.168.1.30. But I said it, if I hold mine for around two seconds. Welcome, I am Jarvis. How may I help you? So the camera, you can also program that button to do different things depending on how long you hold it for, which is something I'll get into in a future video. Anyway, I hope that you found this video useful. I hope you learned something. Even if you don't have one of these cameras, uh, this Piper program is really good for uh, nice sounding voices. It's easy to set up. So if you're running a Linux machine and looking for something a little bit better than eSpeak and maybe you don't want to use Festival, Piper is a great option in my opinion. Someone else also mentioned something called uh, Chatterbox, I think it was called, which is an AI one which has more emotion when it talks. I haven't tried setting that up yet. I might get to that eventually. I'm going to move on to other things with this camera. But I do thank you for watching and as always, I hope that you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. The link in the description as well as all the notes and links that I went over in the video. I hope that you have a great day.